Hi guys, Craig here from APC Physio. Just a quick one that we see sometimes in gyms and things like that. A lot of people that might have been told, oh, you need to work your calf muscles, they're not strong enough. You have to do it a different way and things like that. Okay, that's fair enough. You may have to work it a different way if you're looking to hit a particular part of the muscle or a slightly different muscle to bias that area. So there are two different muscles in that area. You've got your big meteor calf muscle here, the gastroc muscle, okay? That's the one that's going to repel with a lot of force. It's going to get you that more bang for pop, all right? That's the one that a lot of sprinters and people who are doing high power events would need to have quite a bit of a stronger muscle there. And then underneath you've got the soleus. It starts kind of slightly lower down. It doesn't cross the knee joint either, so it attaches to the shin bone. It is solely involved in just that ankle movement. More of an endurance type muscle here, all right? So a different fiber makeup as well. Now, that being said, if you train one, you are still going to get the other. It's not that they're not trainable together. You are going to hit both at the same time, just you can bias one slightly over the other. So what we've seen is people are going, oh, my calves, are, I've been told I have weak calves. I've been told I have to try to do it this way. And we get them to do bent, bent knee calf raises. All right, so what you may see people doing is that when they're in this position, and they'll be on it and they'll be banging away, not really getting much purchase from it. Yeah, you might feel the burn in your calf because you're springing up through. You're almost creating a plyometric movement. Or you'll see them that they're on it and they're just allowing the knee to translate forward and the movement is actually coming from your hip. So you're not really getting that same force and tension through that soleus muscle as you might think you are. Instead, what you should do is keep the angle of the hip and the angle of the knee at the same position. Don't let those change as you press the foot into the, into the step and the hip moves forward and upwards. It begins to translate up and not forward. Okay, so what you're looking for is that vertical rise and the movement only coming down from your ankle, not coming from the knee or the hip. Give that a go if you're struggling with some of your calf work and see if you get more benefit from it or not.